the Yes Movement just took a serious blow within the last 24 hours of Monday Night Raw. Welcome back, everyone. This is Jason. Uh, Daniel Bryan announced last night that he needs neck surgery. Uh, and <laughs> just when you think uh, his uh, title reign from WrestleMania couldn't get any worse, you know, first... Uh, you know, first his, uh, his dad dies. Then one of his biggest fans, little Connor, passes away the same week. And now he's got to deal with neck surgery. Uh, right off the bat, I want to say what I'm really surprised at is that they didn't strip, strip him of the title immediately. Um... There's some talk that they may wait to see what uh, what the damage really is when they go in for surgery this coming Thursday, which is the 15th of May. Uh, the quickest I've seen anybody come back, now correct me if I'm wrong, John Cena had that neck surgery and that was a fusion. And he came back like three months later. Um, well, Daniel Bryan's been wrestling for a long time. And he has a very aggressive style of wrestling. Uh, you know, similar to what The Shield is doing. Similar to what uh, CM Punk was doing. Similar to... Chris Benoit used to do. Um, you know, not many people can keep up that kind of pace and then not have any, you know, bad results happen to their body. Um, I'm going to throw my opinion in here. It's probably not a very popular one. And first of all, I'm going to say, don't get me wrong. I love Daniel Bryan. I think he's great. Um, he's one of my favorites. He deserves where he's at. But if he's having neck surgery, for crying out loud, give him the time off he needs. You know, the fans are going to love him. It's. I don't think it's going to hurt his momentum. Um... Just, just strip him of the title. You know, everyone else who's gone away for surgery or to have whatever fixed, you know, they're stripped of the title. Strip him of the title, no matter how bad it is. Give him some time off. Let him heal up. And, you know, honestly, as tough as the guy is, for crying out loud, he just lost his dad. Let him take some time off and grieve properly, you know? I mean, that's not just something you just, you know, it's not grieving over the loss of a parent. I can tell you from personal experience is not an overnight thing. <laughs> uh, you know, you should just take some time off and just, you know, heal up mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, you know, uh, so, you know, I, I just hope he doesn't have the mentality that other wrestlers are, or that other wrestlers have, and, you know, rush a comeback. It's not worth it. You want longevity in this business, you need to take care of yourself. You know, you need to eat properly. You need to, you know, work out properly. You need to, you know, stretch. All those things you need to prepare for every single match. You need to take care of yourself. All around, head to toe, inside and out. In here. 
too. Um, then ultimately that bears the question, what are they going to do? If they strip him of the title, nothing's been said yet. You know, We'll find out in a few days what they're really going to do. They may announce, they'll probably announce it on WWE.com before the weekend, you know, over, or over the course of the weekend. Once you get a doctor's opinion in there. Um, and for the fairness of everyone, I say just strip them of the title. You know, you can always get it back later, you know. You know, later this summer after you're better, a few months down the road, or what, however long it takes, you know, end of summer, early fall, whatever it is, just don't rush it. Because, you know, look at what happened to other guys. You know, look, look at look at CM Punk. You know, he barely took any time off, and he's so fried now that he's done. He's gone for good. Um, well, at least that's what it seems like anyways. I don't see him. As much as I want Punk to come back, I don't see him coming back. But that's another subject for another time. Um, so, like I said, that bears a question. What are they going to do with the title then? You got a few weeks before the next pay-per-view. You could quick make up some kind of tournament. Um, kind of like what they just did with the United States. Uh, or not the United States Championship. That was done with the Battle Royal. Um, the Intercontinental Championship. And that was actually a really fun tournament to watch, you know. Had different people fighting for it that haven't fought for a belt like that in a while, like Sheamus. Well, you know, Sheamus is the new IC champ. Um, you know, if they have a tournament, you know, who's going to be in it? Are they going to keep the Shield versus the Evolution storyline going? Or are they going to throw those two factions in the mix and, you know, make them part of the tournament? Are they going to throw former champions in there like uh, Dolph Ziggler, Kane? No, Kane was supposed to be his opponent again in the middle of this feud. You could certainly put Kane in there. Um, Cesaro is another name you could throw in there. He's got quite the momentum going. Uh, you could throw Big E in there. And I'm not saying any of these guys should be champ. I'm just saying put them in the tournament. It'd be cool to see. As far as who could be champ, you could, um, as much as I wouldn't want to see someone from Evolution in there, if they did decide to put, you know, the Evolution versus the Shield and turn it into some kind of tournament for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. You know, Randy Rhodes was a uh, championship uh, champion for quite a while. Uh, man. <laughs> How pissed off would everyone be if uh, Triple H became champ for a while? <laughs> The summer of Triple H, huh? How about that? Uh, <laughs> oh man, uh, Batista. I'm I'm naming them first as much as you probably don't want to hear it, just because they've been champ before. They know how to be champ. You know they hold up. They hold themselves up well as champions, as much as you may like or may not like them. Um, that would be a pretty big blow to the shield and at the same time uh, you could throw one of the members of the shield in that tournament um, all three guys are kicking ass right now honestly um, but to make them WWE World Heavyweight Champion that's a question do you want to do that this soon in their run. I mean, they're riding high now. They're doing really good. 
they're gaining momentum and they're gaining a lot of popularity, which is great to see. I love these guys. But are they ready to be champ? That's a big question, and that's a big responsibility. Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, and Roman Reigns are some of the hardest guys in it. Hardest working guys in the industry right now. In the WWE. Um, all around. Just night in, night out. Knocking them out of the park. Really showing them, you know, how your work ethic should be in this industry. Um... Throw it on Roman Reigns for a while. See how he does. Really push the momentum of the Shield, you know, over the course of the summer. Um, that wouldn't be a bad thing. Uh, Seth Rollins, former NXT champion, throw him on top for a while. And of course, my favorite, good old Dean Ambrose wildest hair of the bunch <laughs> uh, you know he's he's one of my favorites but I don't know if that would be the best thing to do right now is make him champ um, maybe somewhere down the road you know build him up a little more who else gosh Wade Barrett's IC champ. <coughs> um, and he's a good champ. You know, they're really building him up. I don't see them doing anything with, uh, or doing that specifically, making them champ someone like uh, the new guy, Rusev. I don't see them doing something like that with him. Um, I'd love to see James, uh, Damian Sandow as champ. I mean, unfortunately, they're treating him like a total chump lately. Uh, but I think he's got the talent and the charisma to pull off a decent title run for a while. Um, well, that's it off the top of my head. Um, but like, like I said, this is all just you know stuff I'm throwing off the top of my head. This you know the latter part of it. Um, you know, what are they, what are they really going to do? We'll find out in a few days, but, um, yeah, I'd, I'd love to see, you know, do I want to see them take the belt off of Brian? Yeah, it sucks, but I, I think it's only fair at this point. Um, let them have the next, sur next surgery, go away, heal for, you know, they're like six to eight weeks. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud, it's freaking neck surgery, you know? <laughs> You know, if you're, all you're doing is walking around at a desk job and you have neck surgery, that's one thing. You're a professional wrestler, for crying out loud, you know. Take some time off, you know. Rehab, whatever. To any of these guys, just, you know, rush. Rush back because they got to have that paycheck or whatever. And, you know, or, I don't know. It, it just doesn't make sense. You know, you've got to. You got to take the time off. You got to take care of yourself to heal. So, well, that's my thoughts on that. Uh, we'll find out soon enough what's going to happen to Daniel Bryan. We'll see how severe the neck injury is and how the surgery goes. So, uh, yeah, well wishes and prayers go out to Daniel Bryan. Hope you have a speedy recovery and can kick ass again soon. And, uh, We'll see what happens. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.